What's up, boxing fans? This is TBE Boxing back at you again. Today's topic Warrior Sean Porter goes where Errol Spence feared to try the other side of the street. Let's chop it up and see what it's all about. On a block with the pole, huh? That's lucky for riches, huh? That's lucky for riches, huh? Pretty rich, show me tits, huh? And I got the glitch, you run up on me, I'ma make you get it. I'ma make you get it. Okay, boxing fans, let's talk some boxing. We're gonna chop up this whole Sean Porter, uh, Terence Crawford uh, upcoming fight, and uh, you know, let's see what it's all about. So, as you all know, I the fight this fight between Sean Porter and uh. Terence Crawford was mandated by the WBO and you saw my last video where I spoke about this fight you know and whether or not uh Sean Porter or even Terence Crawford actually wanted this fight as opposed to the fight between Crawford and Spence which is the fight that you know the fans actually wanted and that's the fight that uh Terence Crawford actually wanted but unfortunately for Terence Crawford uh Errol Spence ducked him and so we have uh Showtime Sean Porter had to step in to take up the slack, you know, that uh, Errol Spence was leaving out there, all right? So Sean Porter stepped in and decided to do the right thing, and he's going to fight uh, Terrence Crawford, you know, while uh, Errol Spence, you know, uh, continued to duck. All right, so, but before we get into all of it, and, you know, uh, just in case, you know, some people might not be up to speed on what's going on, we're going to go to the receipts and, uh, you know, see what, you know, see how this whole thing, you know, actually came about. So here we go. Right on. Hey, End of 2019. Hey, did you not say that? All that? Did you not what? say that? That's this, what your promoter This said. is what I'm saying. I read it out. This, this is what I'm saying. Said. This is what I read it all too. Terrence Crawford, wait, wait till he get a belt. Yeah. He ain't did nothing in the world to yeah. wait to do it. You when he get a nothing. belt, when you he get a belt, nothing. you, you want to go over nothing. there. Keith Thurman want to go over there. And now y'all want to say, oh, I ain't for nobody. But I got a belt now, so okay. why? Okay. Sean Porter sense. got a belt, too. Also, oh, so now. Sean Porter got a belt, too. <laughs> Sean Porter. So why, so why, why, so why am I go to Easy Road and not Sean Porter out? So why am I, so why am I go to Easy Road and not Sean Porter out? So why am I, so why am I go to Easy Road and not Sean Porter out? Why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I? Is the Spence you fought last September at Staples? Would that guy be Crawford, or from what you know? From that guy know? was re was very good. Mm -hmm. He was he was good to the point where the last round, I, I we came in, we touched gloves. Normally it just touch gloves and you fight, but I, I touched gloves with him and I said I said I said good shit, boy, because it, the work was that good, and the night was that good and that competitive, and I, and I wanted it, and I could tell that he wanted it too. Um, does that fighter beat Terrence Crawford? That fighter was strong. That fighter was very good. I saw some holes. I saw I saw that I was a step ahead of him a majority of that fight. And with get, saying that, no, I don't think that that fighter can beat Terrence Crawford. Mm. But I've already said that in a match, I don't think uh, Errol Spence could beat Terrence Crawford. I think that Terrence wins that fight. I think he's got more in his arsenal. Can we be done with everybody else but Terrence Crawford? Can we just do Errol Spence versus Terrence Crawford? I mean, that, that could happen. We got to see how it go. But, you know, like I said, I can move up to 160 and fight Canelo Alvarez. <laughs> Errol, great performance. Um, I, know, I know you already talked about getting back to the ranch. Very understandable. Um, but what did you think of, of Terrence showing up ringside? Do you think that helps build some buzz to, to, to make it a big fight? Uh, no. I mean, he got to live up to his words. If he... If he say he's not worried about me, then I don't know why he doing what, what he was doing here. I probably wouldn't go to none of his fights, so. Well, nobody in the alley but me and Bud. And Bud didn't back down. I just had to say, all right, I'm gonna just walk this one off, Bud. <laughs> Cause, because Bud is the truth. Bud is the real deal, holy field, whatever you want to say. I know it. I squared up with him in an alley. And we faced off, and, and he had his knuckles, both of them, as tight as he could get them. And he went, huh? Was that Venezuela? No, nah, that was Colorado, OTC. <laughs> and that's who he is. 
So when you can do it in front of thousands and thousands of people in pay-per-view, that's great. But when you by yourself and you ain't got nobody there with you, and I'm six weight classes more than you, and you standing there like, yeah, let's go. He's the real deal. If they put in Don't front you of you, dare. if they put in front of you right now, you can fight Errol Spence in the spring or Bud Crawford. Who do you pick? You I would personally. pick Bud. Okay. Mm-hmm. Is that because you think you can beat Bud, or you'd like to challenge yourself against Bud? Uh, I think I can beat Bud, but also I haven't fought Bud. Yeah. So okay. I think that you something know something different. Yeah, I think it's something different. I think right now people would, would really get on their feet for me and Bud. People were on their feet for me and Arrow. You saw that how that one played out. Now, now the now the the whole speculation and, and the talk is different now. Yeah. But prior to that fight, I had no chance virtually. Yeah. So I think. Right now, everything starts over with me and Terrence. Now you got new talk. Now you got all these different uh, uh, scenarios and all that kind of stuff. And I think that... And I think the difference with that one is people want to see that one. Not that people didn't want to see you in Errol, but people wanted to see Errol and Bud. Okay. There it is. Receipts. So, as we all saw, you know, there were many opportunities where... uh, Errol Spence, you know, was yeah, you know, and he was even asked by one of the commentators that you saw, you know, can we just get to this uh, Crawford fight? Can we just have Errol Spence and uh, Terence Crawford actually get in the ring? And you saw what Errol Spence said. Oh, uh, I can, I can move up and fight Canelo. You know, another excuse. You know, he, he's throwing Errol, every time they ask him about Crawford, he throws somebody out in front. You you know, so now he's throwing Canelo out there, and we all know he's not going to fight Canelo, but. Uh, you know, it is what it is. So, uh, in the last video clip, you saw there that, you know, uh, Showtime Sean Porter was asked about the fight. And, uh, he said he'd rather fight Bud than Errol Spence. Okay. And that, you know, he gave his reasons why he would like to fight Bud. And he, he gave you a little breakdown of, the, you know, what happened prior to the fight with Errol Spence when nobody thought he had a chance. And, you know, similarly, a lot of people, uh, might be thinking that he doesn't have a chance against Crawford, but I wouldn't go that far. Now, as we can see, you know, from those clips that we just saw, uh, Sean Porter, you know, uh, is a warrior, okay? Uh, you saw him, you know, basically say that, you know, yeah, I, you know, I, I wouldn't mind fighting uh, Terrence Crawford, you know, it's something new, you know, he's it's, it's challenging himself, right? So, that's the, you know, Sean Porter mindset okay he's a warrior and so you know he's willing to fight whoever uh errol spence you know, it's, a, it's a whole other story we all saw the about the you know the, all the different excuses he made about fighting you know terence crawford we, we, you know we saw the video clips we saw you know the, the words coming from his own mouth just excuse after excuse and i didn't even put all of the excuses down because if i did we'll be here all night you know watching video clips of him making excuses you know like the other side of the street uh 60 40 70 30 uh 80 20 uh 90 10 you know uh i mean just excuse after excuse after excuse so you know we don't need to get into all that we have we've been through them already and we are we all know what they are so at this point now you know uh it looks like as i said previously like showtime sean porter is going to have to take up the slack you know on the pbc side that errol spence is leaving and actually go out there and fight terence crawford you know because errol spence was just unwilling to fight crawford and made every excuse in the book as to you know why he shouldn't fight crawford but yet he claimed that he's the big fish in the welterweight division he's supposed to be the leader of the welterweight division but when you know another a uh, fighter from another uh, camp comes over and say, hey, I want to challenge these PBC fighters. Errol Spence is nowhere to be found, you know? And so Sean Porter has to be the one to step up to the plate while Errol Spence is, you know, hiding somewhere. I don't know, you know? But, you know, people, uh, it is what it is. So we got to give Sean Porter his props at this point in time. Uh, you know, I mean, I've said, uh, I've, you know, said some things about Sean Porter in terms of him probably not want to fight and a lot of those things was valid you know at the time uh however it looks you know now that the fight has been made and you know it was mandated actually you know it wasn't like these guys voluntarily made the fight 
uh okay so you know the you know uh sean porter the, the uh the fight was mandated by the wbo and so now you know right before it went to perth bid you know they made a negotiation and here we are and so we're going to have this fight okay even though the actual fight that people really want to see is errol spence versus sean is errol spence versus uh terence crawford uh due to the fact that errol spence refuses to accept the fight or to take the fight or to get into the ring with terence crawford we have to take an alternative uh fight uh with uh sean porter and terence crawford and you saw in the video clip where on the sean porter's port away podcast uh we saw you know his co-host talking about the fight that they re people really wanted was the errol spence versus terence crawford okay i mean you know every, everyone knows this this is the it is common knowledge okay but again uh you know i've said it before and i'll say it again the only way we're going to get errol spence in the ring with terence crawford is to drag him in there is kicking and screaming because he's not going to go in there voluntarily and we've all seen that over these past three years you know that that's been the case okay to the point now where it's sean porter who has to get into the ring with uh terence crawford because you know errol spence is missing in action all right so the fight is definitely going to happen okay the fight is november 20th uh as we all know uh so the fight is definitely on and terence crawford was going to be battling it out with uh showtime sean porter what can we expect from this fight this is that's the question now that the fight is going to happen you know now a lot of these uh ldbc and pbc fanboys out there you know the ones that you know uh are basically behind the error spent protection brigade they're the ones that push uh Errol, they push sean porter out into the front you know in front of uh Errol spence to make this fight with Crawford because like i said and like sean porter and his co-host said this fight was supposed to be Errol spence and uh terence crawford but instead you know uh Errol spence you know basically ducked the fight and he's been ducking it for three years and now just because of Errol spence and his ducking now sean porter has to go out there and do the job okay that Errol spence should be the one that should be doing and so uh we're going to see this fight and you know again the question is what can we expect in this fight you know who's going to win uh what can sean porter do against terence crawford okay let's take a look all right so prior to the Errol spence uh sean porter fight a lot of people thought that Errol spence you know was gonna wash sean porter i mean Errol spence himself said it and even that video clip we just saw he's talking about you know how he's gonna uh why don't you just go and knock out sean porter you know take the easy route to him that was the easy route to go and knock sean porter out as opposed to fighting that uh, terence crawford so he wants he wanted to take the easy route against uh sean porter and we all saw that fight it wasn't as easy as Errol spence thought it was as a matter of fact it was the toughest fight of Errol Spence's career to this point. You know, uh, Sean Porter gave him the toughest fight of his career. And he barely won that fight. And some people will say that he actually lost the fight, regardless of the knockdown. And, you know, there's, you know, arguments can be made on both sides. But I'm not here to argue that fight. That fight is over and done with. Okay. So, the bottom line, it was, the, the, the fight wasn't as easy as Errol Spence thought it was going to be. So now, you know, uh, after that fight, Errol Spence fought Danny Garcia again. Uh, he didn't fight Terence Crawford. You know, he fought Danny Garcia. Uh, again, he ducked, uh, supposed to be his mandatory. And that fight is over now. And, uh, you know, uh, he was supposed to fight Ugas next. And, we, you know, uh, he came up with an injury. Actually, he was supposed to fight Manny Pacquiao. And he got... You know injured he got an injury to his eye now a lot of fans out there don't don't really believe that he had, you know he got injured to his eye they believe that you know it's just a uh excuse and that he's actually you know that he actually ducked manny pacquiao because he wasn't ready to face manny pacquiao because of his you know his, his, his training camp wasn't going that well maybe he had too much weight and he couldn't lose it in time so these are all these different reasons why people are saying that you know that that fight uh didn't happen because Errol spence ducked okay uh that fight now you know uh 
I, I, I'm not sure where to come down on that uh, in terms of him ducking. I just, you know, it didn't make any sense to me that he would duck. But, uh, you know, our people have their opinions. And so, you know, everybody, you know, uh, has a right to their opinion. And, you know, you have people out there, boxing fans, boxing, you know, aficionados, uh, boxing experts, even, you know, boxing Hall of Fame champions saying that Errol Spence was ducking uh manny pacquiao so basically this is what it, you know he has come to with errol spence that his credibility is at the point where people don't even believe him when he says he's injured in a fight and that you know they're believing that he's ducking okay i mean you know which is kind of strange when we consider how errol spence started out in the in, in the world's weight division you know as the the man that everybody you know was ducking uh, he was the so-called quote-unquote boogeyman of the division at one point in time but today we don't see that we see an Errol Spence whose reputation is in tatters and who's uh you know who people believe actually ducked Manny Pacquiao so you know it is what it is but that's where it is with Errol Spence at this point so Sean Porter basically you know I stepped up to the plate for the PBC camp and he's gonna fight uh the boogie the new boogeyman who's Terence Crawford of the welterweight division right now and basically, Errol Spence is on the sidelines, okay? And, you know, this fight between Errol, between Terence Crawford and uh, Sean Porter is going to basically determine where the welterweight division is going to go for the foreseeable future because, you know, the winner of this fight could conceivably uh, fight uh, your Danish Ugas uh, for the, you know, for the WBA strap, okay? And that would leave the IBF and the WBC strap in the hands of uh, Errol Spence, who, as we all know, you know, is on the sidelines right now because of his eye injury, uh, quote unquote, eye injury. And uh, we have no idea uh, when he's coming back, uh, you know, in the ring or when he's going to fight again, even though uh, recently uh, it was reported that his eye was, you know, was healing and he'll be back very soon, which seemed kind of strange because that type of injury take months you know six months or so to heal or uh, even to a, up to a year to heal with, with an injury like that so the fact that you know barely two months after the of uh, the injury that Errol Spence is saying that his injury is you know is healed and he's coming back soon you know kind of added uh fuel to the fire of those people who believe that he actually ducked Manny Pacquiao in the first place and that the whole injury thing was you know was fake okay so this is what a lot of people are thinking and him saying that he's going to come back just kind of added to that. But, you know, uh, we'll see how it all plays out in the end. So in terms of Shaw, you know, in terms of uh, Showtime, Sean Porter and Crawford, it's, this should be an interesting fight. OK, uh, we all know what Sean Porter brings to the table, you know, nonstop swarming style, you know, uh, but that is not all, you know, that Sean Porter has to offer in a boxing match. And we all saw that Sean Porter can be versatile when he wants to be, as we saw him in the Formello fight and in the Ugas fight, and even in the Danny Garcia fight when he took the belt from Danny Garcia. Or, well, he actually they fought for a vacant title, I believe. So Sean Porter is not, you know, a one-dimensional fighter as people like to describe him as. You know, he's more of a versatile fighter in that he can, he can, you know, use different styles when he has to. Okay. Uh, he used the, that, that swarming, come forward, throwing punches style, you know, when he thinks it's going to work for him. But when it doesn't work for him, he can always shoot up to something else, as we saw in the Yardin's Ugas fight. So we saw in the Errol Spence fight how he fought uh, Errol Spence swarming, Errol Spence staying on top of Errol Spence, staying in Errol Spence's chest the whole fight. But in the Ugas fight, uh, he basically boxed Ugas and stayed on the outside and stayed at range. You know coming in mid-range sometimes but staying at you know uh long range most of the time actually in that fight so you know sean porter is definitely not a one-dimensional fighter as we can you know see now is that gonna help him in the fight against terence crawford i mean can he will he be able to utilize which style would he be able to utilize in the errol spence i mean the uh terence crawford fight is it gonna be the swarming style, or is it going to be the Sean Porter boxing from the outside and from the mid-range style? Well, the problem with both of those styles against Crawford is that, uh, you know, if we take, for example, the swarming style, uh, that style might not work with Crawford because Crawford is a, you know, the, the thing that's 
that's going to determine the fight, in, in my opinion, uh, with Crawford and, and uh, John Porter is going to be a couple of things. Okay, one is going to be hand speed. Again, you know, this is always a, a determining factor in, a, in our Crawford's fight because his hand speed is very deceptive. Okay, he has fast hands, but it doesn't really seem that fast from the outside. But once you get in that ring with him, then you realize it's, it's a lot faster than you, you, you know, that, than you expected. Second is combination punching. For the nine times out of ten, when Terence Crawford is throwing punches, uh, when he when, when his his punches results in a knockout, it's from combinations. He's throwing combinations, and he'll catch the person with one of the punches, and he'll knock them out or uh, knock them down. Okay, so he's a combination puncher. He doesn't just throw one punch, uh, you know, hoping to get a knockout. He puts his punches together, and he's throwing combinations a lot of times. The next thing is going to be the power of Terence Crawford. Deceptive power. Uh, you know, uh, he has power in both hands and he throws those powers in combination. He throws those punches in combinations and so you can get knocked out by either hand, left hand or the right hand. The next thing is strength. Okay, Terence Crawford is a very strong fighter on the inside. A lot of people don't realize that until they get in there with him like in jeff horn and cavalascus they went in there and thought they could you know muscle him or whatever but that didn't work we saw terence crawford throwing them around the ring like they were nothing okay he's very strong on the inside and i think he gets a lot of that strength from his uh is a wrestling uh you know background he's a either he's, he's an avid wrestler he likes to wrestle so those are the things that's going to be going for terence crawford you know in this fight you know speed power uh combination punching and strength okay and and those this is what uh sean Porter is going to be up against you know he if he tried to fight terence crawford on the inside and try to you know wrestle or bully terence crawford i don't think that's going to work because i think that terence crawford is you know uh probably stronger than sean Porter uh more than likely he's faster than sean porter as well and has more power in his punches and he throws pump you know his, his, his punches in combinations and what makes it that very dangerous for sean porter is that because you know sean porter throws combinations as well but the difference is that uh is the power and the accuracy okay terence crawford is more accurate than sean porter he doesn't smother his punches and his punches carry more power than Sean Porter's punches because Sean Porter smuggles a lot of his punches and they don't really land with the accuracy that it would take to really, you know, hurt the next fighter, which is why Sean Porter doesn't have a lot of knockouts. Okay, but that that's not to say that Sean Porter can't knock you out. He has knocked people out before. And so, you know, that that's you know, the knockout is definitely a threat from Sean Porter as well. I mean, anytime you get in the ring with any fighter, you can be knocked out, really. You know, it just depends on the punch that lands. And, you know, uh, sometimes, you know, it's the punch that you don't see that ends up knocking you out. <coughs> Excuse me. So this fight is going to be an interesting fight uh, between Errol, you know, excuse me, between uh, Sean Porter and Terrence Crawford. Uh, I, I think it's probably going to be a competitive fight for the first couple of rounds. And then somewhere in that fight, I think that Errol spent, I mean, uh, Terrence Crawford is going to separate himself uh, in the fight. And we might see uh unanimous decision are probably a, a stoppage uh from terence crawford you know in this fight now and you know but in order for us to see that you know from terence crawford he's gonna have to do a couple of things in there uh you know to neutralize some of the advantages that uh sean porter has you know uh first and foremost he's gonna have to start off early you can't wait for sean you can't go in there with sean porter and trying to you know uh you know give him one round or two round and trying to feed him out or whatever you're gonna have to go in there and deal with him you know uh immediately because sean porter is gonna come out there and you know and try to make the fight his way from the very beginning okay so uh in other words what i'm saying is that Terence Crawford is going to start off a little faster than usual. But then again, we could see, you know, due to the 
the, the ability of Terence Crawford, you know, we could we could see uh, Sean Porter be more circumspect in this fight, and he might come out there and just feel out where you know Terence Crawford is before deciding to you know mount his attack, whatever that might be. But uh, the bottom line is that Terence Ter uh, Terence Crawford is going to have to be very careful in there against uh, Sean Porter because again, Sean Porter is a very experienced fighter. He's been in there against a lot of different kind of opponents. You've seen almost every style in the book, okay? And, uh, you know, uh, I'm sure he has learned a lot, you know, uh, and he's going to be looking to apply those lessons in this fight against uh, Terence Crawford. So Crawford can't go in there taking Sean Porter for granted. I'm, I'm sure he probably won't be doing that. Because, uh, whatever you might want to say about Sean Porter, okay uh when he comes to a boxing ring uh he comes to fight and he's gonna fight every minute of every round and that's not to be sneezed at okay uh his work rate is you know ridiculous okay he's constantly in there working and he's constantly putting pressure so uh terence crawford is gonna have to be on his p's and q's okay because again uh with the experience uh that uh sean porter brings to this ring uh with his you know uh his work rate and the fact that you know he has never actually really uh first of all he's never been stopped and second he has never actually been you know beat down okay nobody has ever beaten uh sean porter i mean you know beat him Okay, I mean they have won against him. Okay, a lot of people have, have, have won against Sean Porter. They've they've they have outpointed him in a fight, but they haven't actually beaten him. You know, like beat him, like you know, beat him down, or you know, the closest we have come to that is with the Sean Porter, with, is with the uh the Kell Book fight where Kell Book outpointed him by you know a, a large margin. But even in that fight, you know, uh, Sean Porter was you know in the fight the whole fight, and you know he could have landed the punch that to stop uh Kel book at any point in that fight and he, he was always a danger for Kel book in that fight right up until the last second of the last round so you know what i'm saying is that sean porter is not a guy that you're gonna go in there and just blow out okay and nobody has ever done that to sean porter no one has ever done that to sean porter and so this is gonna be a, a tough fight for uh for Terence Crawford. Now, if Terence Crawford goes in there and, you know, actually stops Sean Porter or blows Sean Porter out, unlike what anybody else have done, then uh, we're going to have to, you know, uh, see that, you know, Terence Crawford is definitely... Uh... Now, then we'll know why everybody's ducking Terence Crawford, okay? <laughs> then we'll know why, because if he can stop Sean Porter or, or, or you know, uh, beat Sean Porter unanimously, like the way Kerr Book did, you know, decisively uh, uh, beat Sean Porter, uh, then, you know, we're going to have to uh, make a new appraisal of exactly, you know, who Terrence Crawford is and, and his legacy, uh, you know, at welterweight. But, again, uh, hopefully, after this fight, we'll get, a, you know, we could probably see something in, the, in you know, in, 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 in terms of... Uh, uh, unification getting closer right now with Errol Spence injured and out we don't know when he's going to fight again or if he's going to fight again so the belts have you know the the, the, well, the welterweight division is basically being held up by Errol Spence right now okay uh so we have to wait to see you know uh you know who the winner of this fight between Terence Crawford and Sean Porter who they're going to fight next if it's going to be Spence or it's going to be Ugas or you know whoever okay but as far as i'm concerned you know uh you know the, the winner of this fight should either fight spence or fight ugas okay i don't see any point uh you know in 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 postponing this undisputed any longer Errol spence has held up the division long enough and it's time for him to stop doing that and for you know for for us to move forward towards undisputed uh with or without Errol spence okay and so uh, I'm definitely looking forward to this fight with uh, 
Terence Crawford and Sean Porter. It should be a great fight. Uh, I'm glad that Sean Porter stepped up to the plate. We have to give him, his, his, you know, give him his props for doing that because as we all see, his uh, state, you know, his uh, stablemate, uh, PBC alumni, uh, Errol Spence, has done everything in his power to duck this fight with uh, Terence Crawford and basically has left it up to Sean Porter to save the day. And so Sean Porter has to go out there now and, you know, do what he can, uh, you know, to uh, get back uh, the respect of the boxing fans out there for the PBC uh, camp. Because right now, you know, uh, PBC camp, uh, and when it, come, when it comes to top right, the PBC is looking like they're looking scared. Okay, uh, you know, they're looking like they don't want no parts of Terence Crawford. Terence Crawford is now the boogeyman of the world to division after moving up from 140. And, you know, the only guy basically that's willing to challenge uh, Terence Crawford is Sean Porter from the PBC. And this is what we are seeing happening. And so all I got to say is, you know, kudos to Sean Porter. Uh, you know, uh, good luck uh, in this fight. He's going to need it against uh, Terence Crawford and uh may the best man win okay uh there's no guarantee that you know terence crawford could necessarily uh that terence crawford is going to defeat sean porter i mean it's likely that it's going to happen now you know i'll put my money on terence crawford in this fight you know i think he's going to win but it is no guarantee because sean porter is no joke so uh you know uh anything could happen in this fight and you know we could have an upset but again, I don't think that's going to be likely. I think that mo more than likely what's going to happen is that uh, Terence Crawford is going to win this fight and more than likely he'll probably uh, stop Sean Porter. I mean, it's possible that Terence Crawford could lose the fight. So, you know, we have to, you know, uh, wait and see how it's going to play out. But uh, for right now, you know, uh let's hope that both guys uh you know uh make it to this fight and that they're both uh you know injury free in this fight and like i said let the fight happen and may the best man win and you know and then you know after this fight we can see what's going to happen you know on the road towards undisputed so with that being said people i'm going to leave it there make sure you like and subscribe to the channel okay uh hit the bell icon you know uh, you can donate to the channel if you want to but the most important thing is make sure you like and subscribe to the channel okay and uh again uh good luck to both sean porter and terence crawford in this fight uh it's a great fight the fans you know are looking forward to it i'm looking forward to it and uh it should be something special so with that being said folks this is tbe boxing saying I'm out. Got the money for me, that's pretty bitch. Gotta show me titties. This is the life that I chose, huh? On the block with the pole, huh? This is the life that I chose, huh? On the block with the pole, huh? That love you for riches, huh? That love you for riches, huh? Pretty bitch, show me titties, huh? And I got the glitzy, run up on me, I'ma mean you get it.